Live on Facebook now. Um, Big <laughs> All right. We have a little uh, guest host with us. Kiaris is here playing peekaboo. <laughs> um, okay, welcome to our oily <laughs> from August 4th. Um, we are here tonight to talk about vitality oils. And I'm going to mute us over here. <laughs> sounds good. Um, we're here to talk about vitality oils, and we're going to be focusing this week on our August promos. So August promos for Young Living is all about vitality oils, and we are going to talk about those and teach you a little bit about um, what we've learned in the last week. The first thing we do when we see those promos is do our research and see how we can use the free oils. Um, tonight, so let's just talk for a minute about the oils that are free this month when you hit certain purchase volume level. Um, we've got thyme, black pepper, parsley, coriander, mountain savory, and orange. There's a lot of them. Uh, tonight we're going to talk about black pepper and mountain savory. Um, Janelle and Anne could not make it to our oily fireside chat tonight because they're relaxing and having fun in, um, I think, Michigan, right? On vacation. So um, we're two presenters short tonight. If we... Um, uh, not if, because we for sure aren't going to get through them all tonight. We will continue with the others from the promo next week so you all can learn how to use those. And we have Kiara super excited to be here with. We might be two presenters short, but Karis has the energy for five, so we're all good in that department. No, no. Uh, so, like always, I'm going to share a few housekeeping items. I have notes tonight. Um, just a reminder, uh, Tessa, I don't know if you shared on your page, but if you haven't, you might want it's live now on Facebook. You're welcome to share on your page and others. Um, please help us grow our small businesses. We absolutely love it when you share what we're teaching with your friends. We're super passionate about teaching the world about oils. So the more you share, the more we have, um, get the opportunity to do that. Um, replays of our classes will be posted as a public video on YouTube. So anyone that is joining us via Zoom, um, you're probably going to be, I think I automatically have it set up that you're muted and off camera when you pop on. We do that just because we don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable, you know, with the idea that they might be going um, in a public YouTube forum. So um, if you pop on Zoom, that's what's going on there. If you have any questions you would like for us to answer, please post it in the chat. If you're on Zoom, you can use the raise your hand function um, so that we know you've got a question for us and we'll do our best to answer your question live. If we don't know the answer, we will research it and get back to you because that's what we love to do. And we promise we will look through every question that you post in the comments, either while we're live or afterwards before next week. Prizes. So every week we do at least two prize drawings. One prize will be drawn for the live attendees at the end of our class. That gives everyone a chance to pop on live. And every week we'll also do one <laughs> prize drawing for those who shared, commented, and liked our live video from last week. Um, so we're going to do that shortly. But first, when you pop onto Facebook, make sure you say hi and tell us where you're watching from. 
I also was saying to Tessa, with everything going on in the world, I would love to have a moment of celebration. So um, I would love for you also to share with us something positive that um, you want to celebrate that happened to you or that you did uh, this week since our last chat uh, last Tuesday. <clears throat> I can just kick it off here really quickly by saying um, I cleaned and organized my craft room, which is now my makeshift office. Um, I've got something in the works that I'm hoping to kind of roll out in the next few weeks, and I needed a dedicated office space. Um, and so I've been uh, a busy bee cleaning and organizing and getting all the tech stuff put together. And that was a lot of work. So um, that's my win or celebration of something positive this week. And I'd love for you to share with us in the comments for you uh, what happened to you this week that was positive. And then Tessa, while I am getting our prize wheel ready, maybe you want to share something good from your last week. Um, all right. How, what do I pick from this last week? This has been a really good week in a lot of different ways, a lot of personal growth. Um, I had to have a really hard conversation with my dad about some things from my past, like things, not specifically him, but, um, just some hurtful things that happened, um, and it was, it was really good. I'm not someone who enjoys confrontation or like emotional stuff. Um, but we both handled it really well. And we both walked away from it, like crying happy tears. And so that was really positive. Um, I've been learning a lot as a mom about, um, every child is different and you need different approaches for <laughs> for different situations. So there's been a lot of personal growth there. I've had some moments where there's been the classic three-year-old temper tantrum and I didn't yell and I didn't shout and I didn't send her to her room. We just like talked it out and breathed it out. And I used some creative tension breakers and I walked away going, wow, I'm not the world's worst mom after all. Like that was actually handled pretty well. So for me, I would say that this week, the positives are a lot of personal growth, like getting through the rough situations that you just have to have in life because you're a human being and growing from it and building my relationship through those. So that's probably my positive for the week. Awesome. You can't pour from an empty vase, they say, right? So that personal growth is super important. Yeah. Um, okay, let me get my prize wheel shared. Hey, are you able to see it? Yes, okay, great. All right, so this prize wheel is from the likes, comments, and shares um, from our Oily Fireside chat last week. Here we go. Hey! Yay, Uncle Joe, you won! Woohoo! Love it. Um, okay, I'm gonna clear the wheel so that I can get it ready um, for our live attendees. And um, hopefully this light isn't too bright here in the back. I got my, there, that makes me better. I have my diffuser going. Um, I'm actually diffusing tonight the free oil I got with my kit last week or my ER kit genius. Um, like I said, I've had some, I've got something in the works right now that's using a lot of brain power. And so I've been diffusing that when I'm up here, I've been diffusing it while I'm working. I think next time I diffuse it, I am going to combine it with lavender because as I was diffusing it, I thought, Ooh, if I added lavender to this, I think it would smell amazing. So um, if you guys are diffusing, or if you're not, share with us what's in your diffuser, actively diffusing or sitting in there from last night when you diffused it last. I don't know, Tessa, are you diffusing anything? Uh, well, my diffuser just ran out. Um, 
in the girls' bedroom sitting from last night that will start again in an hour was Gentle Baby. Down here in the basement, we run Thieves every other night. And then the one that just quit upstairs was, um, it's discontinued now, but you can still make the blend yourself. Um, it was the Ula family blend. Um, so you can still get the oil singles and make that blend yourself. Like all the singles are available, but I really like that blend. That's a good blend. I'm seeing some awesome celebration here. It looks like, oh, wow. Someone had a granddaughter too. Her granddaughter's skin graft took 100%. So huge relief off of their shoulders. Sue, I've been praying for your granddaughter, so I'm super happy to hear that. And it looks like Mackenzie just got a new job today. So that's super exciting. Congratulations, Mackenzie. And um, Sue, just eat in lavender. That's my favorite. I just use that every night. Okay, so we should take off our class. So. <laughs> hey, Rose. Yeah. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, your sound was doing something a little weird. I wasn't sure if it was my computer or your mic. Uh, my dog was just scratching herself next oh, to the computer, okay. so it might have been that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Am I okay now? Because she stopped. Okay, good. Um, Tessa, do you want to start or do you want me to start? Um, I think it's good if I start, just in case we have a three-year-old. That's what I need. <laughs> then you can finish without me. All right. So for tonight, I chose Mountain Savory. That's one of the free oils this month. And I've never used Mountain Savory. I don't have it. I don't know what it is. I like literally knew nothing about, I didn't even know it was a Vitality oil. I knew nothing about this oil. And so I picked it because I wanted to learn about it because there are some oils I still know nothing about after five years. So um, this is one that I've never had exposure to, and I learned a ton. So similar to last week where I had the lemon fruit um, and not the lemon oil, I'm going to talk to you about the mountain savory herb first. I'm not talking to you about the oil. I'm talking about the herb. If I had a branch of it, I'd show you that. I don't want any FDA compliance issues. I'm talking about like historical medicine and lab research and all that kind of stuff. So I'm talking about the herb. I will help you with your game in just a moment, baby. Just give me four minutes. Okay, so mountain savory is a perennial shrub that belongs to the mint family. It is inherent to Mediterranean and is widely distributed in Turkey, Southern Europe, and Russia. The herb has antibacterial, anti-infectious, anti-parasitic, anti-fungal, general tonic, immunosuppressant, and stimulant properties. This herb lowers pain and supports the circulatory and nervous system. It is highly antiseptic due to the presence of high phenol content and can hasten the formation of scar tissue and helps with abscesses, burns, and cuts. It is also known to stimulate the adrenal gland. Research shows that it is able to counter colic, diarrhea, nausea, lung and throat congestion, as well as gastrointestinal complaints. The topical use of the herb, mountain savory, has been shown to inhibit the growth of candida albicans. This herb has been researched to counteract respiratory and fungal infections. It is used for relief from insect bites, arthritic joints, hair loss, and scalp problems. The herb assists in the function of nervous, immune, and circulatory systems. Historically, it has been used to treat burns, insect bites, and ulcers. It strengthens immunity and boosts energy in those having lack of energy as well as lack of motivation. So that's the herb. Now we're going to go FDA compliant with the oil. Mountain savory essential oil is extracted with the process of steam distillation of the whole herb. So I found that interesting because like most of our essential oils are a part of the plant. Like jasmine is just the blossom and rose is just the blossom and lavender. Oh, that one might be the whole plant too. Um, 
but like lemon, orange, lime, those are all the peel. It's not like lemon juice. Um, so I found it interesting that for mountain savory, it's the whole plant. So I thought that was really cool. The color of the oil ranges from a pale yellow to colorless, possessing the sharp, peppery, and slightly sweet aroma. So I found that interesting too, because I had heard that specifically with your citrus oils, um, differences in the weather can change the color of your oils. My very first bottle of lemon was like a bright neon sign yellow. And then my second bottle of oil was a little bit more the paley yellow. And I thought maybe I got a, a defect oil. And this was like six years ago. So I called the company and was like, is there something wrong with this batch, something wrong with this lot? And they're like, oh no, it was just not as sunny. And so the fruits didn't brighten up in their color. And so the oils are still fine. They still passed all the tests. They still met all of the purity requirements. The color is just a little bit different. So I thought that was an interesting tip to share with the oily fireside chat. Um, Young Living still runs all the tests. Sometimes weather affects the brightness of the hue of your oils. So if you get an oil and the color is slightly off, don't worry, Young Living ran all the same purity tests. It still met all the requirements. Maybe that batch just didn't get as much sunlight or something like that. So something to keep in mind with own and savory, pale yellow to colorless. So it, it's not a super bright oil. Um, I said the peppery and slightly sweet aroma. When it's used as a seasoning in cooking, so that's the Vitality Oil this month. For this month, the Vitality Oil is the free one, not the like colored label, it's the white label one. So when used as a seasoning in cooking, it is very similar to oregano or thyme essential oil in aroma, but it is not as pungent. So if you've cracked open a bottle of oregano, that is whole. Oh, that is some strong stuff. Like a toothpick of that in a full pot of soup is probably enough. Um, mountain savory is a little bit more, if you're new to cooking with oils, I think I would recommend using mountain savory. Again, I haven't used it, so I'll be playing with it right along with you guys. Um, but I think I would recommend mountain savory to the new oils cookers, oil, oily cooks. That sounds better, oily cooks. Um, I think I would recommend that one because you're not gonna have the um, the heavy handed of an accidental too much of oregano in your chicken soup that you and your husband and children can't eat. Yes, that, that did happen. <laughs> it was bad. Um, topically, so this is if you're using the colored label, not the white label we get for free this month. Topically, it should be avoided on mucous membranes and it should not be diluted to the skin without a carrier oil because this is considered a hot oil. So like your cinnamon or something like that where it like causes some warming sensations. So I recommend diluting this oil before putting it on your skin. So um, there you go, that's Mountain Savory. I thought about looking up some recipes but everyone's palate's a little bit different. So that's Mountain Savory in a nutshell. <laughs> We had a little teacher going right along with you. As you were <laughs> I know, right? She's, uh, she's going to show you all Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> oh, <fun. laughs> awesome. That's great info. One of my favorite things to do when we get those promos is look up, first of all, the ones I don't have, because uh, I'm always curious about learning uh, more about them. And in fact, that's why I chose black pepper tonight. Um, actually, I've had black pepper for a while. I remembered reading something about it, although I don't remember what it was. And I thought I have to have that oil. I ordered it and honestly, I haven't used it since I bought it. So I'm bound and determined to use black pepper. And in my research, I found a lot of really great stuff um, and ways for me to use it. So I was super excited about that. Um, first of all, I want to tell you that most of my info comes from three places, my essential oils desk reference. And then I have two apps on my phone. Um, one is called the EO bar. And then one is just essential oils reference guide. And so that's where all my information is from. A lot of what I'm going to talk to you about is about black pepper, the plant, the herb, not necessarily the oil. So I'm going to start with some fun facts and folklore. 
Black pepper was used by the Egyptians in mummification, and they know this because they actually found black pepper in the nostrils and the abdomen of Ramses II. So that was interesting. Indian monks ate several black peppercorns every day to give them endurance during their arduous travels, and they believed that it brought them stamina and endurance. In ancient times, black pepper was honestly as valuable as gold or silver. Now, can you imagine that? We put that stuff all over our eggs and it used to be as valuable as gold or silver. When the barbarian Goth tribes of Europe vanquished Rome in 410 AD, they demanded 3,000 pounds of pepper as well as other valuables as ransom. I thought that was super interesting. Traditional Chinese healers use black pepper to treat cholera, malaria, and digestive problems. <clears throat> so some of the medicinal properties of black pepper, um, it's an analgesic, stimulates metabolism, and here's why I'm going to start using black pepper a lot more. It's also antifungal. Um, when you diffuse it, its fragrant influence is stimulating, energizing, and empowering. So I think about using black pepper as like one drop to a diffuser blend where I've got some other things going just to add a little bit of an accent of that spicy herbaceous scent. Um, a 2002 study found that fragrance inhalation of pepper oil um, induced, and this is a study by Hayes et al, induced a 1.7, so nearly two times increase in plasma adrenaline concentration. And that's a medical study that was done. So um, uses for black pepper oil now, it can be used to help uh, treat obesity it can be used to help with digestive support. And now let me back up a minute here. To help treat obesity. A lot of that's going to come from the medicinal properties of the black pepper plant and stimulating metabolism. Um, it can be used to help with digestive support. Its spicy aroma may help fight fatigue. So it could be used to get a little energy boost. Um, the analgesic properties of black pepper may help with muscle or nerve discomfort. It can also be used to help with tobacco cessation. I found that really interesting, actually, because I've got something in my little goodie bag here. Um, I bought this cool um, essential oil inhaler. The product is called Fume. I showed this a few weeks ago. You can get different styles of this, but it's wooden. It's all natural. And on the inside, you see that white thing. There is a little core. Um, the core, I'm going to get that out too so you can see. Um, the cores look like this. There's two of them in here. They're just like little wicks. Well, what you can do is put um, two to three, maybe four, depending what oil you're using, drops on that core, and then you stick it in here. Now, to remove it, you just use a tweezers or something that you can get in there and pull it out. Um, and then you can inhale your oils through this inhaler. Now, I found it really interesting to think about black pepper as a way to help with tobacco cessation. And I thought it might be interesting to think about the hand to mouth um, habit of a smoker and um, an oil that can help with potentially help curb addictions. Um, but also can stimulate your metabolism. So I think about the treatment of like helping if you're trying to lose weight. This might be a great hand to mouth movement as well. 
And then we all know that when people try to quit smoking, a number of times they'll gain weight. Now, I'm not saying that this will make you quit smoking. I'm not saying that it will guarantee that you lose weight. But I just find it interesting that these two things can go together. And black pepper might be something that just makes you feel better. I guess you're just going to have to try and see and let me know how you feel if this is um, something that you're interested in, these properties. Um, let's see. You also can apply black pepper um, diluted. You're definitely going to want to dilute black pepper. Similar to Mountain Savory, it's going to be a warm, spicy oil. Um, you can put it on your beta flex points or directly on your area of concern. So you've heard about its analgesic properties. Um, I also found that you can mix it very sparingly with juniper and lavender in a bath to help with chills or to warm up in the winter. If you want to use the black pepper vitality oil, that is one of our promo oils this month um, as a dietary supplement, uh, you should know that black pepper oil is generally regarded as safe for human consumption by the FDA. Black pepper is. And remember, Young Living oils with the white labels are um, approved for ingestion. And um, I found that a lot of people are actually diluting one drop of black pepper oil in a teaspoon of honey and taking it as a dietary supplement or in a four ounce beverage and most people are doing with almond or rice milk and I thought it might be interesting to do a drop of oil in a teaspoon of honey and then that those two in uh, say a half a cup of almond milk. If you warmed it up it might be kind of a, um, a nice warm drink on kind of a cool evening. <clears throat> So just like Mountain Saver, you're going to want to use caution and dilute this oil. It's not an oil for kids, so be really careful with that. It can cause extreme skin irritation if you don't dilute it, so be careful with that. Um, if you want to diffuse it, because remember, we talked about its fragrant influence being stimulating, energizing, and empowering. It blends really well with cumin, frankincense, lavender, marjoram, rosemary, sandalwood, and other spice oils. I also found that black pepper is in a number of the Young Living oil blends. And um, I'm including this information tonight and hoping to include it forward because this tells you, I think, a little bit of something about the oil when you think about the blends that it's used in. So some of the blends black pepper is in, Awaken, Build Your Dream, Dream Catcher, energy, fitness, that one again is discontinued, but um, the fitness line, light the fire, fulfill your destiny, relieve it, I'm guessing that one is also discontinued, I haven't heard of that one, journey on, I think if I'm not mistaken, I think relieve it is in the feelings kit, oh okay, that makes sense, I, I believe that's the only way you can get that one, I'd have to double check, but and then you were saying fitness discontinued. There is, they still have like my family one, the Ula Fitness. They still have all the singles, so you can still make that blend yourself. Oh, great, cool. Um, the last two, Journey On and Excite. Um, now the recipes. I found a couple recipes for diffuser, and I thought it was interesting. I've heard that black pepper is a good oil for in the bedroom. And ironically, I found that the diffuser recipe was called romance. So if you want to spice things up uh, and diffuse a romantical blend, um, you can diffuse three drops of grapefruit, two drops of black pepper, and one drop of jasmine for a romance diffuser blend. That is all the information I have on black pepper tonight. Um, Do you have, by chance, a copy of the Lucy Libido book? No, I don't. There, as long as we're on the topic of romance in the bedroom, there is a blend that uses black pepper. I believe it's black pepper, coconut oil, 
it might be excite and then there's one other oil lang lang maybe and it is a warming personal lubricant oh there you go <laughs> so if you're wanting to try something new for valentine's day uh, <laughs> a copy of the lucy libido book would be excellent there's a quite a number of um diy ideas specific for the bedroom so yeah, there you sure. go <laughs> There's the black pepper for the warming. <laughs> awesome. Good call. Uh, okay, we have some questions and comments here. So I just want to make sure I browse through and we answer some of those. Um, I'm actually wondering, Mackenzie, you say that you have peace and calming tea tree and peppermint in your diffuser. Do you have all three of those as a blend? Or are you diffusing them separately? I'm curious. Put that in the comments. Um, Mackenzie's asking, what's a good carrier oil? And um, Tessa, she asked that just as you were wrapping up Mountain Savory. So I would say the best carrier oil for me is the V6 blend, um, especially if you're putting it on topically. If I'm ingesting an oil, I like to use fractionated coconut oil, which you can also um, find, uh, it's called MCT oil. And I would choose to use um, that to ingest because, and you should do your own research on this one, but MCT oil has some wonderful, wonderful properties. Um, there are some studies that show it helps, um, it has been, shown to help reverse signs of Alzheimer's and improve memory function. It's just so good for the brain. So if I were to ingest either of these oils, since they both need to be diluted, I would dilute in fractionated coconut, also known as MCT oil, to apply topically. I love the V6. It's not oily or greasy. It totally um, absorbs into your skin, just awesome. So that, that would be what I would use um, as a carry oil. Yeah, um, I would agree with Rose on that. My favorite carrier oil would be the V6. If you don't have V6 and you're in a pinch, um, you can use coconut oil. I hate that greasy feeling on my skin. I'm very, very skin sensitive, like my, clothes have to be just right so if you're skin sensitive and you don't like oily residue on your skin I coconut oil or olive oil is going to leave you with that grapeseed oil might be an alternative that doesn't leave my skin feeling quite as greasy but it's on the pricey side from what I found I've, unless you can get it on sale you're you're going to be spending a bit of money for a, a decent grapeseed oil um, so I would, I would go with the V6 because especially by the time you add it on an ER order and you get those points back, it's, it's the best bang for your buck. It's got a bunch of different oil. I mean, V6, there's six different oils in there. So they all benefit your skin in different ways. Um, and it doesn't leave you feeling greasy, which I love. It's a huge bottle if you want to. You can get two yeah. different sizes. I needed a refill because I didn't know if I liked it, so I started with the smaller bottle first. I wish I had a bottle up here. Um, but I had to refill it, and it's cheaper to buy the big ginormous bottle. So if you're looking for something to add to your ER order, maybe toss that on there um, and then grab another oil or two um, to get to your 50 bucks, and you're good to go. Um, okay, and that's not, I just want to add that's not just like I just want to use black pepper, so I'm going to dilute it. Don't be intimidated by like, I don't need that much. I mean, that's what Rose and I use for like our roller bottles and our glow face serum. And I mean, like, the V6 isn't just to dilute one oil I'm putting on, like, we use that as a carrier for pretty much everything. Yeah, and you know that oils are very, very potent. So um, when we're talking about, I just did a class in my group, Oils on a Budget, um, just a few drops in a 10 milliliter roller with carrier oil will give you the same effect. It will be sure to be safe because you know that you've diluted it enough. You'll get that wonderful, wonderful scent that you're looking for. Um, and your oils go even further uh, than the normal 100 drops or you know whatever it is that's in your bottle. So um, the V6 might be a really great investment to make your oils 
last longer if you're looking for a great skin oil. Um, we should do our prize drawing for our live watchers. I see we have five people. Um, I don't know if one of those is Tessa and one of those is me, but I see three commenters that I have on here. Um, so right now I've got Carol, McKenzie, and Sue. If there is someone else watching live, um, let us know so we can add you to the prize wheel. Oh, Debbie, looks like Debbie is also watching. Debbie, I'm gonna add you to the prize wheel. Um, so I think the fifth is me then, okay. All right, we're going to do our prize drawing, and then um, <clears throat> next week we'll continue chatting about the other oils in the August promo. Uh, so make sure you join us here next Tuesday, 8 o'clock Central Standard Time, same time, same place. Uh, let's see here. All right. Can we see my prize wheel? Awesome. Okay, here we go. Our lucky live attendee winner, Mackenzie. Congrats, Mackenzie's like raking in the prizes. She's lucky. Okay, we are gonna wrap it up for the night. We're gonna let uh, Tessa go hang out with Kiaris, maybe watch a little Beauty and the Beast or something. And uh, we will see you guys here next week. Thanks for joining us and I hope you learned a ton. Bye. Bye.